In this video, I'm gonna walk you through our new notebook, our Progress Notebook Pro. And the reason why it's called the Pro version is because essentially compared to our other Progress Notebooks, it has a lot less hints and information throughout the template. And the reason why we did that is because as you progress in your medical school career, whether or not you're starting off as a first year and then kind of moving up into fourth year or even as an intern or a resident, you're gonna want a lot more room to write and you're gonna need a lot less hints. And so I will, in another video, I'll compare this versus our, our typical progress notebook, the non-pro version, but you can see there's a lot more room to write. And so we don't have as much kind of hints as you go on, um, and there's a lot less detail to the notebook template. However, you have a lot more room to write. So you have a, a much bigger space to write for your HPI, your past medical history, your social history, your family history. We, want, we aren't giving you those same hints for you know, questions that you'll ask for your social history, questions that you'll ask for the family history or even the meds. We kind of expect you to, to know what goes in each of these sections so that you can get a lot more room to write. You have a good amount of room for meds, allergies, your, your vital signs, your physical exam. And again, this is a much more abbreviated version of the physical exam as opposed to others. Labs and imaging are the big section for that and then your assessment and plan and to do. So each of these templates are going to be set up in, in four pages. So it's going to be one, two, and then on the next page, three and four. And so the idea for this versus other H&P templates, right, this is a progress template. It's really designed for the inpatient setting. So you see the patient, you admit them, you fill out everything on this H&P, and then you have to-dos in your assessment and plan for that first day of service, either the, the post-op day zero or that first day of service that you're admitting a patient to the ED. Then on the next two pages, what you're going to see is your progress as the patient's going on. They're going to be here, let's say, for four days. That's kind of what we allotted. If they're here for longer, then obviously you would have to use additional pages. So you would have to use two templates instead of just one. So if they're here for six days, then you would fill out these four and then kind of go on to this, this page here. If they're here for less, then you would just use those two and then you would move on to the next patient. But this set of templates is really catered towards your soap, right? So you have your events, your subjective, what happened overnight for the patient, what hospital day number or post-op day number they had, their objectives, which is going to be their vital signs, and then their ins and outs are going to be important as well, and a good section for physical exam. And you have a pretty large amount of room for your labs, and then also any type of imaging, you'll put the labs and imaging in this location, and then any plan that you have. So this is just going to be the, the big picture, high yield things. You're not going to be writing sentences in this section. It's just going to be kind of, this is the big picture of patient has CHF is activation. These are the meds we want to change, so on and so forth, rather than going into exactly what you're going to say word by word during your presentation. And then you're going to have a to-do section. So each of these templates is going to be four pages long, like I was saying. You move on for your next patient because usually you have multiple patients that you're caring for in a single day. And so you, you kind of use all of these and, and have it in a very organized fashion. There's a total of 50 patients that you can hold or, or take notes of. So there's 50 total templates in this one five and a half by eight and a half inch notebook and this notebook will fit in your white coat pocket or at least the conventional white coat pocket about five and a half by eight and a half inches that's a quick overview on the notebook each notebook is also going to come with a reference sheet and not going into too much detail on this it's just going to have some high yield things that typically these are just going to be used for reference every you know laboratory is going to have different sets of normal values but these are kind of a good range to think about and common things that you may you know ekg or, or dermatomes or, or murmurs or strength the different grading system, your GCS scales. So just a lot of broad things that you may be using. Some you may be using more than others, but just kind of give you a general overview for, you know, it'll fit inside the notebook itself. So you can kind of just fit it like this and keep it there. So if you need something to reference, and if you don't, you don't need to use it. But this is just a quick video on the Progress Notebook Pro. Um, and in other videos, I'll show you the Progress Notebook Pro versus just the typical Progress Notebook, the non-pro version. Be sure to check out medicalbasics.com for more educational resources like our H&P Notebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.